I know that most protein bars out there actually are not actually all that healthy, but when I look at a big shelf of bars, I feel overwhelmed. Do you have any tips to help out? I do. I totally get that feeling of overwhelm, Angela, when you look at the bars. I go to like Whole Foods or Central Market or even like a regular grocery store and I see so many bars and even I'm overwhelmed and I do this as a job. I get it. This is, it's very confusing. So my number one tip is ignore the front of the package. Almost all of the claims on the front of the package are unregulated. So if it says healthy or curb sugar cravings or even if it says natural or all natural, that really doesn't mean anything on the front of the package. You can basically say whatever you want up there. Um, and it doesn't it, it doesn't have any impact on how healthy it actually is. So pure protein bar is one that I use as an example. I think I have one down here. I do. You see it's in this like scary looking plastic bag because I actually don't eat it. I just use it for clients. Um, it says eat good, eat good, feel great. It has all this like high protein, low sugar, gluten free. It has all these claims. Gluten free is actually a claim that has to be true. But in terms of like healthy and things like that, doesn't matter. So ignore the front of the package and go right to the back. So if you see the example that I posted, these are two different products. I want you to think right now, if you don't see the example, just think in your brain. What are the what is the first thing you would look at if you were comparing two labels? What's the first thing? Most people say calories. Some people say fat. Both of those are not what I want you to look at. I want you to first look at ingredients. Ingredients are the most important thing because if you look at the ingredients and it's a bunch of junk, oh, Ariel says serving size. That's pretty good, Ariel, but you missed the ingredients. I, and I know you know that too. Ariel totally knew that. Um, if the ingredients are a bunch of junk, it does not matter if it has 100 grams of protein and no sugar. Leah got it. Good job, Leah. Doesn't matter if it's 100 grams of protein, no sugar, zero calories, all the like perfect stats. That doesn't matter. If it's full of a bunch of, excuse my language, crap, we don't want to put that in our bodies. So the ingredients are the very first thing I want you to look at. Ingredients are a deal breaker. If it's full of junk, doesn't matter. We toss it out. If we scan through the ingredients, what we're looking at is A, fewer ingredients is generally better. So there are things like, you know, a superfood salad at Whole Foods where it might have kale and blueberries and almonds and who knows what else. And these are all healthy ingredients and that's a lot. That's obviously the exception. What I mean is a bunch of ingredients that are not um, foods that you would keep in your pantry. So that's kind of number two on ingredients is if you don't recognize it, that's a key that it's your body probably doesn't recognize it either. If most of the ingredients are in your pantry or could be in your pantry, that's a really good sign for ingredients. And if you if it's mixed, some of the ingredients you recognize, some you don't, you should know that the ingredients at the beginning of the list, at the top of the list, are more important because there's more of those ingredients in the actual package. Um, so if there are 40 ingredients and the first 39 are really awesome healthy foods and the last one is a preservative or something, it's kind of okay. But if the first three are junky and then the last 37 are healthy, it's not okay because there's more of the junky ingredients up there. Um, so number one, you're looking at ingredients. Fewer is best, recognizable words. Number two, I would look at Actually, I wrote down sugar in my prepared response, and Ariel's probably right. Serving size is really, really important um, in context of everything else we're looking at because some packages are just really confusing. Even energy bar or protein bars, which Angela is asking about, um, sometimes they have two servings in there, two and a half servings, like weird stuff. So if you're going to compare the grams of sugar, be sure you're comparing the amount that you're actually going to eat. So serving size is two. Thank you, Ariel. Three is sugar. Compare the sugar. Almost always lower sugar is better. When you find the grams of sugar, you do also want to look at the ingredients to see where it's coming from. So if there were nine grams of sugar and it's coming from dates, which is a common sweetener in a lot of protein bars, and 
you're comparing that to 8 grams of sugar and it's coming from high fructose corn syrup, then I would probably choose the 9 grams of sugar, even though it's one more, because it's from a natural source, or I would definitely choose that. But if it's 100 grams of sugar coming from dates versus 2 grams of sugar coming from high fructose corn syrup, even though I hate, hate, hate high fructose corn syrup, I would probably choose the 2 grams. There's no specific cutoff, but you kind of have to know. If it's fairly close, I always choose the more natural form. If if it's not fairly close, um, then it's a toss-up. You kind of got to use your best judgment. And you might ask, how do I know where it's coming from? You have to look at the ingredients. Anything ending in O-S-E is a sugar, an added sugar. Anything with the word sugar or the word syrup in it, oh, hey, my client's here. I got to wrap up, is a sugar. Um, honey, all kinds of things like that are added sugars. And then fruit something like that is a more natural occurring source of sugar. Uh, so if you're going to look at the total carbohydrates, really look at sugar and fiber. Did you know that sugar and fiber are components of the total carbohydrates? So in my example here, um, on the right side, you see that there's three carbohydrates total, zero fiber, and two sugars. The two from the sugar plus the zero plus the fiber plus the one from other carbohydrates, which are not on the label, equals the three. If this is all confusing, don't worry. My message to you is don't really look at the total carbohydrates. That's, that's less important. Um, more important is having more fiber and less sugar. If you look at those, then you're kind of covered. So you can also glance at the protein. Generally, more protein is better. Uh, depending on what it is, you can glance at the fat, but remember fat is not bad if it's coming from a good source like nuts, um, fish, high quality oils, avocado, things like that. Fat is actually a good thing. Um, and if you're looking at all that stuff, you really don't need to look at the calories. You really don't need to look at anything else. If you look at the ingredients, the sugar, um, the fiber, and maybe the protein, I think you're set. Especially the protein, actually, because you're asking for a protein bar. So those things. Ingredients, sugar, fiber, and protein, you can make your total decision based on that. Ignore the front of the package.